What single thing defines the success of your school? Uh, well, first of all, I don't think it's my school, uh, and I think that is probably the answer, because I think the single thing is the students. We're really lucky here. You guys are fantastically capable uh, and, uh, and fun to be with. Are your parents paying for their children to join a social elite, and does this matter? I think you've only got to look around the school and wander around the school to know that it doesn't feel like a, a kind of a, a grand, snobbish, socially elite school. Uh, I think we're pretty down to earth, uh, and uh, um, uh, and that's great because I think that's the way uh, a school should be. Um, and indeed, we'd like to be more socially diverse. I think what what I suppose parents are wanting when they choose a school like King's is for their children to be with other people who will inspire and and and, and challenge them. How do you define define bullying, and how do you deal with it? Systematically and deliberately making somebody else's life unhappy, uh, and uh, it does happen in communities, as 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 I'm sure we all know. Uh, how do we deal with it? We make it clear that it's unacceptable. Uh, we uh, make it clear that people should be completely open and honest and talk about things. And you've probably noticed in yeah. in things like Anti-Bullying Week that we put a lot of stress on um, everybody looking out for bullying yeah, and and being prepared to talk to people when they see it. What do your people say about you and do you care? That is a difficult question. I think they would probably say that I'm quite lively, that I'm interested, that I'm quite challenging. Uh, I hope they wouldn't say, the only thing I hope they wouldn't say is I'm dull. Uh, I, do I care? I think you have to be pretty thick-skinned to be ahead, and so I don't think you can afford to, to obsess about what people think about you, but sometimes, of course, you need to make difficult decisions and, and, and you need to be strong enough to do that. How do you justify getting paid more than the PM? <laughs> The serious answer probably would be that, you know, this is a multi-million pound business, this is a 12 million a year turnover business, uh, and ultimately the buck does stop with me, so uh, I hope that the governors who obviously set my salary um, take that into account and, and, and deal with me fairly. How do you guarantee your people's well-being? The honest answer, I suppose, you can never guarantee it, but I'm very pleased to say I think we have a lot of mechanisms in the school to do our very best uh, to, uh, to ensure it. Um, the main thing being our tutor system uh, and then a whole raft, I suppose you'd say, of, of, of what might be called student services. So of course we now have a counsellor, we um, have an excellent special educational needs department uh, and I think even things like this library that we're in now provides a space where pupils feel you know they can go and they're safe and they you know they can find their area so i guess it's just by by making sure we have enough of these sort of student services